pikatan Ika'y amang nakikinig Sa aking bawat dalangin Pagkapananalik Ay nasusubukan Ikaw ang tagapagligtas At ang nagmamahal sa akin Pupurihin ka Pupurihin ka Panginoon Pupurihin ka Sa lahat ng pagkakataon Ang iyong kabutihan Ang siyang pumupuno O Diyos ng pag-ibig Aking ipagsasabi Iyong kadakilaan Ay ihahayag Sa iyong kapangyarihan Pusay na mamangha Pupurihin ka Pupurihin ka Panginoon Pupurihin ka Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to day five of uh, our prayer and fasting. Praise God. I hope that uh, you're doing great uh, in uh, the fifth day of our prayer and fasting. And, uh, you know, as we enter into a time of worship, I'm in faith. You no, know? We're in faith that God is doing something in our midst. And uh, prayer ko lang na lahat din tayo, we're continually growing uh, in, in really in 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 the, the time that we spend time with God's Word and allow Him to speak into our lives. No? So, as we uh, continue and later on, we pray tayo, uh, let's enter into a time of worship. Let's just fix our eyes on Him because He is the author and the perfecter of our faith. So, worship God today. Focused on your promise Till I see the giants In the midst of chaos 
us I will look through eyes of faith
And I will follow in all your ways, cause you are my only one. Cause you are my only one. I wanna live for you, be glorified forever. My life will declare. You alone, our Lord, everything of me, use it for your glory, that everyone will see.
Thank you, Lord. Father, you are indeed Lord over our lives, oh God. Thank you, Lord, because these last five days, you've been revealing so many things in our lives. Areas, facets of our lives that you want to change, you want to renew, and you want to continue to be shaped according to your word. And so today, Lord, as we, uh, even as we close this five-day prayer and fasting, Lord, our desire is that Jesus would be Lord over our lives, that our lives would manifest your glory. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church would say, Amen and Amen. Wow. Kung saan ka man na, na, nanonood ngayon, ano, as you tune in to our uh, noontime prayer and fasting, I hope that you're doing well. This is the final day of our five-day prayer and fasting and we are trusting the Lord na sa mga nakaraang apat na araw, no, the Lord has been speaking to you. May mga nire-reveal siya sa buhay natin, sa buhay ninyo. Maaring areas ng buhay natin na gusto niyang baguhin. Gusto niyang uh, uh, bukod sa baguhin, maaring gusto niyang i-renew or kaya bring refreshing into our lives. And uh, syempre, above all, no, having this uh, theme for the entire year, ab abide, no, abiding in His Word. Uh, our prayer really is that uh, God would create in us a renewed appetite to read, to meditate, and more importantly, bilang mga Kristiyano, be able to apply His Word. No? And uh, again, if meron kayong mga faith uh, goals, may mga bagay kayo na pinagpipray on this year, do share it with us. Feel free no? to share it in that link, yung Padlet. Uh, kanina lang, I was going through some uh, some prayers no? of uh, that, that people posted in the Padlet. No? Uh, Nakaka-blessed because uh, more than just asking for material things, a lot of the people who have posted here have always posted things that relate to their relationship with God, relate to their relationship with other people, and how they would want to be used by God na be able to ano no, to speak his word to their family members to their office mates to their friends and so do post them uh, we're praying for them and uh, we look forward no na marinig din namin eventually yung mga answered prayers you know during these last 22 months of the pandemic most of the time uh, yung mga bata alam naman natin they stay home and uh, basically that's part of uh, what the government authorities we have uh, they believe that that would be the best approach at protecting them from the virus. Okay, And one of my sons, David, he's now 14 years old. He likes reading science and history books. So mahilig siya sa... Uh, isa sa mga kina, kumbaga, kinahihiligan niya lately is yung mga Filipino movies no? uh, on uh, Goyo and uh, even si Antonio Luna. And uh, during one of his free time last year after online class, uh, he took some wooden scraps kasi naka may storage kami dito sa may garage. And one time, he started making a tool. And after working on it for several days, he was able to come up with uh, with a, a mid-sized sword. Siguro mga a foot long. And uh, he showed it to me and I was surprised because uh, scraps yung pinanggalingan. Eh. And uh, he was able to make a uh, medyo mahaba-habang sword, parang a foot long na sword. Ano. At alam natin, in history, since ancient times, Swords were important weapons uh, that, uh, uh, that, that soldiers use every time they rush to the battlefield to face their enemies. And when there's no war, alam din natin, in history, in ancient times, soldiers, they spend considerable amount of their time sharpening their swords with the help of a blacksmith. No? Bakit? Because a sword is meant for force to cut through an opponent's helmet armor or any kind of protection no? uh, during war. Now, the author of Hebrews, he compared the word of God to a sword, a double-edged sword. In fact, as sabi nga ron, sharper than a double-edged sword. No? And this is what he said, this author said in Hebrews 4 verse 12, 12, and let me read it from the ESV translation. For the word of God is living and active. Okay? Pwede mo namang i-type dyan sa comment section. Living and active. Okay? Sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing to the division of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts 
and intentions of the heart. Now, if you read back dun sa earlier verses ng chapter 4, the author was talking about a Sabbath rest that God has for the Israelites as they were traveling through the desert. Ang problema, their disobedience and unbelief kept them from entering or enjoying that Sabbath rest. Now, the Sabbath rest is provided to those in Christ today. But the author of Hebrews warns the believers not to take it for granted like the Israelites so that they won't fall by the same sort of disobedience. Now, ano ba ang connection nitong verse 12 na to sa binasa o sa nabanggit ko na background ng Israelites and their disobedience? Let me share to you two distinct qualities of God's word as a sword and how we can apply them in our lives today. How can we abide in God's word? So ito yung pag, uh, pag-usapan natin briefly before we move into a time of prayer. Number one, first distinct quality. God's word is living and active. Okay, it's all in, in that text, no? in verse 12. God's word is living and in active. Now, if you remember last Monday when I talked about God's word is a seed, I shared that during my grade school years, I studied at a Protestant school near Binondo. We had Christian education subject and I was exposed to Bible verses and Bible-based church hymns. We sing that all the time in different occasions. The only difference at that time was I remained spiritually dead. Why? Because I never took the Bible seriously. I never took God's word seriously when I was in grade school. I would rather be with my classmates and uh, join or uh, engage in, uh, you know, during my grade school days. Now, when my brother shared the gospel to me several years after graduate uh, grade school, no, I repented of my sins. And in my Bible and fail God something mine was Roman for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus I really in the only to be says the word for us to see the sin and unbelief. Okay, the word heart enables. to abide in Him. Now, it's normal for us to go through... It is normal for us to really go through a dry season. Spiritual. When we feel like God, because God's Word is living and active, He uses it to renew our spirit. verse 7. He wrote in 19 verse 7, the law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. Sabi nga, uh, translation, the law of the Lord is perfect, freshing the soul. And then another psalm is said in Psalm 119 verse 25 in the New Living Translation, I lie in the dust by your word. And in verse 50, 
your promise revives me. And so we're experiencing some <clears throat> technical difficulties um, while waiting for Pastor Richard to reconnect. I know that all of us were able to, may nakuha na tayo doon no, sa mga shinair ni Pastor Richard. Uh, our text is Hebrews 4, verse 12 to 13. Siguro while waiting for him, we want to hear from you. Okay, quickly lang, ano yung mga highlights nyo, mga faith goals nyo, sinulot nyo this year? Ayan. So we hear you sa mga comment section. Yes, naputol po talaga. And uh, let's keep on praying for our internet connection. And while waiting for Pastor Richard, siguro we want to hear from you. Ano yung mga highlights nyo na uh, faith goals, sorry, faith goals nyo for this year that you've written in our Padlet. In fact, siguro baka maganda nga tignan. Tignan natin yung, yung, ano, yung ating comment section. Thank you, Miss Eve, for praying for our live broadcast. I acknowledge that. Uh, mga faith goals. Can you share your faith goals for this year? Probably, um, uh, probably your, ano, your, 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 you have written there, uh, salvation for your family. Definitely, di ba? Uh, also, and si Jessica. Thank you, Jessica, for sending in your uh, prayer, your faith goal for this year. Hilo, healing, economic recovery. Career breakthrough. Amen. Kahit may pandemic, we want to grow in our career, in our calling. Ayan. Also, si... Ayan, si, si Miss Marie. Mag-preach or mag-share na mag-share kahit ini-ignore ng iba. Wow. <laughs> we, we pray for fruits. Lord, we pray for Miss Marie. I pray for fruits, Lord, sa effort niya for preaching the gospel. Amen. Ayan. Renewed heart for serving the Lord with family. Thank you, Alex. Um, that's true. Um, uh, we're really hoping, let's keep on praying that the alert level would go down and eventually we'll be able to volunteer uh, in the church. Diba? Definitely, hindi pumawala ang ating volunteer ministry. Ayan. Healing for everyone. Thank you, Miss Nettie. Uh, career direction for Lorraine. Yan, sa mga nagtatanong po ng career direction kay Lord, this is the best time to really pray about it, whether you stay probably or you look for a different opportunity for you and even for your family. Yan. <clears throat> Let's pray for confirmation and clarity. Ayan. Okay, Pastor Richard. Ayan. Nakamute po kayo. <laughs> Ayan. Eh, Nakamute lang po, Pastor Richard. Ayan. Ayun. 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 Ayan. Thank you, Pastor Richard. Uh, so thank you very much no, for uh, covering for a few minutes. Yes. Biglang, biglang nawala ako eh. <laughs> Pastor Richard, bali sa Roman 6.23. Medyo dun. Alright. Uh, thank you, Pastor okay. Richard. Thank you. Thank you so much, no, Matt. Yeah, alam nyo, ano, no, I was actually, I was talking about Romans 6.23 because that's one of the first verses that actually gripped me to the core uh, when I was a new Christian at nung nagbabasa na ako ng Bible. And I think we're familiar with that verse. Uh, sabi ron, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And I realized back then, no, that sin made me dead spiritually. And the only way for me to be rescued from my life of sin and wretchedness was to really respond 
by accepting God's gift of salvation through Christ. Because God's Word is living and active, He uses okay, the Word for us to see sin and unbelief in our hearts. Kung ano man yung bagay sa buhay natin na maaring grip tayo ng kasalanan. In fact, the Word exposes our hearts. Ano ba ang nilalaman ng puso natin? Ano ba nilalaman ng isipan natin? And then, when we respond in obedience and faith, God's Word enables our hearts to abide in Him. Now, as followers of Jesus, it's normal for us to go through dry season spiritually. Sito sa inyo may dry season. From time to time, no, parang tuyot tayo spiritually. It's a period in our spiritual lives when we feel God seems distant and quiet. Parang kahimik si Lord. Parang hindi siya engaged sa buhay natin. And yet, kung titignan natin ang mabuti, uh, God is constantly at work. Because God's Word is living and active. And He uses His Word to renew our spirit and revive us. In fact, sabi nga ni David no, sa Psalm 19, verse 7, it says there, The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. Ito, sabi sa Amplified, no, from the same um, verse. The law of the Lord is perfect or flawless, restoring and refreshing the soul. Restoring and refreshing. Another psalm is wrote in Psalm 119, verse 25. The New Living Translation. I lie in the dust. Revive me by your word. And in verse 50, your promise revives me. It comforts me in all my troubles. Tanong, do you need spiritual revival? Do you need spiritual renewing or refreshing in your life? Let's go to His word. And ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat, let us abide in His word. Because God's Word is living and active. Alam niyo yung salitang active, it comes from the Greek word energies, where we get the word energy. No wonder ilang beses sinasabi ng psalmist yung salitang revive after a close encounter with God's Word. You see, God's Word is powerful, full of energy and dynamism. No amount of energy drink or caffeine, kahit makasampo cup of coffee ka, after mo fasting, nothing could match the energy that God can bring to our lives when we start abiding in His Word. Social media feeds no, and online uh, news articles can send us tons of information and they can keep us updated. Novels by best-selling author, they can give us entertainment. Classic poetry, they can sometimes move us emotionally, but only God's Word can transform or renew our lives. Why? Because God's Word is living and active. Second distinct quality of God's Word, God's Word pierces through the core of our life. God's Word pierces through the core of our life. By pierce, it means to penetrate, pass through, or cut through just like a sharp-pointed or sharp-edged sword would do. God's Word can cut through the very core of our being. His Word pierces through the innermost recesses of our spiritual being. Commonly, no, pag kinakamusta tayo ng mga kaibigan natin, and medyo hindi ka komportable i-share yung nararamdaman mo o yung sa loobin mo ba. Di ba, minsan ang common na sagot natin is okay lang. And this person may not really know what's happening to your life. But you know what? When we start reading, when we start meditating God's Word, we experience a cutting through, a piercing, so to speak, as we let His Word penetrate into our hearts and allow Him to expose what is really in our hearts. Is there a habit, a sin habit, that you're harboring in your heart today? Ito yung mga magagandang itanong natin sa sarili natin. As we read His Word, are you bitter because of injustice that you may have experienced in the past or just probably recently? Are there unrepented sins in your life today? Meron ba tayo mga doubts na nakikreep in na sa soul natin brought about by this pandemic? Do you ever wonder if God can still break you 
out of these struggles caused by sin? You know, God's answer in all these questions is a resounding yes. God is more than able to get us out of the spiritual rut, out of our spiritual mediocrity. Why? Because God's word pierces through the core of our life. God's word is powerful to expose our sins, but it is never the purpose of God's word to embarrass us. Ang intention ni Lord in doing it is in order to bring spiritual healing and recovery. The word cuts down to our inner thoughts and feelings, revealing to us things, habits, attitudes, thoughts, na hindi naman kaaya-aya sa mata ni Lord, so that we can repent of these things and receive His restoration. You know, as we continue in our spiritual journey, as I close this message, bilang followers of Jesus, no, my prayer is that we will not fall by the same disobedience and unbelief that the Israelites did in the wilderness. For as we read God's word, which is living and active, we let it pierce through the course of our life so that we can constantly be transformed into Christ's image as we respond in obedience, humility, and faith. Let me invite you to bow your heads with me and close your eyes. Lord, thank you so much because for the last five days that we have sought your face, that we have read your word, that we have worshipped, that we have prayed, alam po namin, you're speaking to each one of us. You speak to us through the living word. As your children, Lord, we hunger to be like you in righteousness, in righteous character, and even in gracious compassion. Holy Spirit, today have your way in our hearts that every day as we open your scriptures, speak to us. Holy Spirit, remodel, if you will, our lives. Cut through attitudes and habits and even um, wrong mindset or thinking and enable us to live according to your truth. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Let me turn this over now to Matt as we move into a time of prayer. Thank you, Pastor Richard. You know what I love about uh, Pastor Richard shared is that uh, the Word of God is living and active and uh, it, it comes from the word energy or energies, meaning no amount of uh, literature out there or content that we read online can ever really satisfy and uh, yeah, and, and even renew the soul. Only the Word of God. So that is our prayer. And um, <clears throat> in the same breath of uh, what Pastor Richard said, we're going to pray for three points today. And we're going to take some time since this is the last uh, day of our prayer and fasting, last moon devotion. Okay. Uh, kaya pa naman, no? we're going to spend a little, a little bit more time to pray for these uh, points. So first point is this. We want to pray for renewed appetite for God's Word. Okay? Renewed appetite. There are times like what um, Pastor Richard mentioned, my highs and lows tayo lahat sa desire natin ni reading God's Word. But our prayer is that that, re- that appetite would be renewed. So let's pray that this year would be all about knowing God and His Word like never before. Parang first time ulit nating nagbasa. Hindi naman for a long time, but yung feeling, no? So that's what we're gonna pray for. So um, we're gonna have 2 minutes and 30 seconds to pray for that. So our, our opportunity to pray starts now.
and join me in prayer. Father, today we lift up our soul, our spirit into you. God, I pray that you would renew our appetite to read, to study, to meditate on your word. God, I pray that whenever we read your word, there will be some, there will be a new level of affection. There will be a fresh touch of desire to really um, spend time with your word and, and apply it in our lives. God, thank you because we know that when there's food and where there's no hunger, you are faithful enough to make us hungry to crave for more of you. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's pray for our character to be renewed and reflect Christ to others. Pray that by abiding in God's word, we'll be able, we'll be transformed more and more into the likeness of Christ every day. Pray that our daily devotion will increase our love for God and lead us to obey His will. The ultimate goal of our faith is really to be like Christ. And that is our prayer as we increase our devotion into the word of God that we would conform to the likeness of Christ. And so let's take this time to pray for that, that we would reflect the, the character of Christ to others. Amen. Join me in prayer. Father, thank you, Lord, for this time. Lord, right now, we pray for our character to be conformed to your likeness. God, we, would, I, we, we pray, Lord, that we would reflect your character, reflect your attitude. Lord, I pray that um, <clears throat> whenever we would relate with people, they would see, Lord, that you are our Lord and our Savior. God, give us the grace. Give us the grace, Lord, to be transformed and be uh, conformed to the likeness of your Son. Lord, um, help us, Lord, to love like you, God, to treat people like you have, to love people the way you have loved us. We honor you, Lord, in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Our last prayer, prayer point is renewed passion to preach the gospel. Of course, we are called by God to proclaim his word to our family and friends and even our workmates and classmates. Let's pray that the more we grow in our relationship with the Lord by reading his word and praying, Let's also have, uh, let's pray that we would have the renewed passion to preach the gospel to the lost, those people who need Christ. Okay, so let's take this time to, to pray for that.
Join me in prayer. Father, thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to pray for our desire to preach the gospel. Lord, I pray that you would renew, Lord, our, our passion to preach the gospel. Lord, I pray that um, whenever we read your word, whenever we pray, Lord, hindi lang mag-grow yung knowledge namin of, the, of your word. But Lord, I pray that through that knowledge, our heart for the lost would also grow. Our desire to preach the gospel to our friends and to our families, even, of course, to ourselves would grow. Lord, I pray that you would give us, Lord, the boldness, even the grace to lead more people to follow you. Thank you, Lord, for today. We honor you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, let's give God praise for that, for our time of devotion today. This is our day five of our afternoon devotion. Hindi pa po tayo tapos. Okay. I just want to remind everyone that this is our day five, but later tonight, we're gonna have our last day of prayer and fasting. We're gonna pray for our personal breakthrough. So if you don't want to miss that, invite your Victory Group members, your friends, your classmates, tag them up. Okay? Uh, you don't want to miss probably what God is about to do tonight. And uh, I'm sure that God has a word for all of us so that we would be encouraged with uh, as, as we go through this year. So there also, speaking of breakthroughs, we want to sh- uh, we want to Uh, also share with the joy that you've experienced as God would uh, answer your faith goal. So please go ahead and click that link sa Padlet natin and share to us your faith goals for this year, the things that you are praying for, whether that is health or that is in your family, in your career, in relationships. You can go ahead and comment it there. We would love to stand with you. Uh, we would love to uh, stand with you in our prayers, or with our prayers. So there, thank you again. That ends our de- afternoon devotion for today. See you all later tonight at 7 p.m. God bless you.